Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on reflections. We're going to figure out how to reflect in the coordinate plane. Now, we'll start right off with our key concept, and when we reflect over the x-axis, which is our horizontal axis, our left-right axis, we're told we can multiply the y-coordinates by negative 1, and you certainly could. Over the y-axis, you're going to multiply the x-coordinates by negative 1 in order to get this done. Now, a reflection is a mirror image of the original figure. It's the result of a transformation of a figure over a line called a line of reflection. In a reflection, each point of the pre-image and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection. So in a reflection, the image is congruent to the pre-image. Now, another way, if we look at our x-axis here and we're looking at this point negative 2, 1, when we're reflecting over the x-axis, notice how this is 1 away. So the reflected point is also 1 away. For the point way up here, we count 1, 2, 3, 4 to get to the x-axis. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the shortcut to all that counting is simply multiplying those y-coordinates by negative 1. As you notice, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And of course, over the x-axis, or the y-axis, if we are from here 1, 2 away from the y-axis, we'll be 1, 2 away on a reflected point. Or in this case, you can multiply the x-coordinates by negative 1. So let's try a few of these out. Triangle ABC has vertices A, 5, 2, B, 1, 3, C, negative 1, 1. Graph the figure and its reflected image over the x-axis. Then find the coordinates of the vertices of the reflected image. Well, our first shape is the blue one here, ABC. And you can count. You can count to graph. Notice how A, if we're going over the x-axis, one strategy here, if we're reflecting over the axis, is to kind of draw our line in to remind ourselves, okay, I'm going over the x-axis. That's where I'm trying to get over. So I am, from A, 1, 2 away. So A prime, my new A, needs to be 1, 2 down, and that's where it is. B is 1, 2, 3 points above the x-axis, so I need to be 1, 2, 3 points below. And for C, I'm 1 point above, so my C prime needs to be 1 point below. And you can write out your order pairs, 5, negative 2, 1, negative 3, and negative 1, negative 1. Now, as it says in our box, a way to check this is to multiply the y-coordinates by negative 1. If you're going over the x-axis, you multiply the y-coordinates. That's what's changing. Your up-down movement's changing, not your left-right. And sure enough, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and that's where that is. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and that's where that is. And 1 times negative 1 is, well, negative 1, and that's where that ended up as well. And in this next guided example, quadrilateral K, L, M, N has vertices K, 2, 3, L, 5, 1, M, 4, negative 2, and N, 1, negative 1. Graph the figure and its reflection over the y-axis. Then find the coordinates of the vertices of the reflected image. Once again, one of the first things I would do here is to, you know, kind of draw in your y-axis or really make sure that you know where you're going without getting too obnoxious like I did there. And then you can count your points if you like after you graph your original figure. And K is 1, 2 away from the y-axis, so we need to go 1, 2 away to get to the other side. L was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 away, so we need to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 away for our new. And you keep doing the same with M, and you do the same thing with N and you can get your new points. Now, triangle PQR has vertices P15, Q37, and R4, negative 1. Before we read anything else, let's graph that figure first. Let's graph the 1, 5, so we're going to go 
out on our x-axis to 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is right here, and label your points as well. This is going to be P, and then Q is at 3, 7, so out to 3, up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's going to be Q. And R is at 4, negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, down to negative 1. And that is R. And draw in that triangle. Connect the vertices of that triangle. Now, let's continue reading the question to see what we're doing with this triangle. Graph the figure, check, and its reflection over the y-axis. Okay. Well, which axis is the y-axis? Well, it's the one labeled y. So it's going over this axis here, and the one I'm tracing in green here. And again, I encourage you to trace over the axis you're actually going to be doing just to remind yourselves, okay, that's where I'm going. Now, let's do this the counting method still. For P, P is one away from the y-axis, so I need to go one on to the other side. And so my P prime, my new P is there. What about Q? Well, Q, one, two, three away from the y-axis. So I need to be one, two, three away on the other side. It is right there. As we work to complete this reflection, this mirror image, R right now is one, two, three, four away from the axis. So I need to move one, two, three, four away over here. And that is my R prime, my new R. And now I can draw this in. Oop, that was pretty bad. Let's try that one again. And hopefully you can now see the mirror image. We're not done yet. We need to find the corners of the reflected image. But before we actually count, because you could count it, go negative 1 and count up, let's look at our original P. Our original P was at 1, 5. And I just want to bring home the point here that as we reflect over the y-axis, that you can multiply your x-coordinates by negative 1. So if I multiply this x-coordinate by negative 1, that means my new p is going to be at negative 1 and then keep the y at 5. Is that where we're at? Negative 1 up to 5, that is where we're at. What about q? Well, q was at 3, 7. And to reflect over the y, we multiply the x's by negative 1. So my new q, my q prime, should be at negative 3, 7. Is that where it's at? Negative 3 up to 7, that's where it's at. What about r? Well, my r was at 4, negative 1. And once again, to reflect over the y-axis, you multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. So my r prime, my new r, should be at negative 4, negative 1. And is that where I'm at? Negative 4 down to negative 1. That's exactly where I'm at. So my new coordinates, I could also just find by multiplying the x's by negative 1 since I reflected over the y-axis. Could you also count? Negative 1, 5, negative 3, 7, negative 4, negative 1. Sure. But it also is so important to know that all you need to do to reflect over the y-axis is to multiply your 
x points by negative 1. Now in this next example, the figure below is reflected over the y-axis. Find the coordinates of point A prime and point B prime. Then sketch the figure and its image on the coordinate plane. Point A is located at 1, 4, which is true. Point B is located at 2, 1, points we should find. Since the figure is being reflected over the y-axis, you can simply multiply the coordinates by negative 1, the x-coordinates, that is, the x-coordinates. So you can see your new A is negative 1, 4, and your new B is negative 2, 1. And when it comes to sketching in the rest of the image, well, you can try your best there. We'll see how we do on this next example. The figure at the right is reflected over the x-axis. Find the coordinates of point a prime and point B prime. Then sketch the image on the coordinate plane. Well, we'll be reflecting over the x-axis here. And instead of counting first, let's try our method of multiplying to get our new points. Now our original A, if we look at our graph, is located at negative 2, 2. And what we're going to do here to reflect over the x-axis is to multiply the y by negative 1. So that my a prime point is going to be at negative 2, negative 2, which is right here. And we can almost check that by counting. OK, 1, 2 down, 1, 2 down, that's right. What about my original b? Well, my original b is at 2, 2. And to reflect over the x, I can multiply my y by negative 1. So my b prime is going to be at 2, negative 2, which would be right here. And sure enough, you can count to check this. You're 1, 2 from the x, and 1, 2 down now from the x. Now the challenge comes in in trying to sketch this. And those of you who know me, know that I am not a great artist, but I will try my best here. So, if you wanted to draw some random points where you see intersections such as right, you know, there looks like there might be a point right there that I can kind of reflect to be right there. Get some common points here perhaps, and that might be all I can do. So I know that this loop here needs to loop down through that point. So, we'll so we can try our best to do that here. We're kind of coming out and around and out and around. And that's kind of that thing there. <laughs> and then I have one, two, three points of the sun on each side of the axis here, and I know my middle points have to go through A and B, so I'm going to draw those first. Here's the one that goes out to A, here's the one that goes out to B, and then I have two more, one on this side, one on this side, one here, and then one there. And that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get it, so just try your best on these. And that is it for this lesson. Good luck.